Here we have a 2012 Volvo XC90 R design in silver, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth here, we're looking at easily a good 5mm in the centre of the offside front tyre. Looking at the offside front alloy, you can see I've got some curbing around the alloy itself, a couple of scuff marks around the alloy as well, so a definite refurb will be required to that alloy. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, now on the driver's door and rear passenger door, I personally cannot see any sign of any dinks or dents at all around there. Around the offside front arch, that's in nice condition. Driver's mirror also very clean. Driver's door itself, of course, there is one or two light scratches that will need a bit of a polish. Bit of paint here to the driver's door as well. As you can see, there's a bit of a scuff mark. A couple of light scratches below the door. Um, a bit of a chip there on the door edge of the driver's door. Some smaller chips will just require some touchings of paint. Uh, both the sills are in nice condition. You've got your roof rails on top and rear privacy glass also. Rear passenger door also in a nice condition with just some light scratches. A couple of chips behind the door here will require some paint as well. The door edge itself is fine. Now moving towards the rear arch and rear quarter. Now this is where it has got quite a bit of damage. So as you can see you've got a heavy scuff here. Which leads all to this rear section down here. And it's very heavy as you can see. And it has dented the rear bumper as well. But this whole rear quarter panel as you can see is very damaged. So it's probably going to need a new rear bumper to be honest. So obviously just be wary of that. Looking at your rear tyre, easily good 5-6mm to six millimeters there, looks fairly new. And looking on at the rear alloy, most that's just polished around the alloy from where it's had uh, the tyre fitted onto it I think. So there's no actual curbing or scuff marks to that alloy. And then moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. You do have rear parking sensors on the back here. A little bit of a scuff mark there on the rear bumper as well. Near side rear quarter is in nice condition though, and the boot itself is looking pretty clean. Inside the boot itself, as you can see at your parcel shelf there, um, as you can see here, your parcel shelf in there, two seats in the back, so it is a seven seater, and you've also got this spare wheel in this case as well, so that's all in good order. Looking at your near side rear tyre again, that's a fairly new tyre, so a good five to six millimetres. Looking on at the rear alloy, again, that's just a uh, the um, products they use when fitting the uh, alloy to the tyre to the alloy, so no curbing or scuff marks there. And then take a look down the near side of the vehicle. Again, looking very clean, I can't see any dinks or dents. Uh, actually, there is quite a, a line dent going down uh, the front passenger door there. Don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's a line dent about that long. Um, going along the uh, the passenger door there, the front one. Just be wary of that. Apart from that, it's just a light, couple of light scratches that'll need a polish. The driver's mirror is fine. Bit of a touching on the paintwork there. Front arch is clean, and there's a good five mil there on the front tire. Looking on the front alloy, look around the alloy. You've got a bit of a curb mark towards the bottom there. Apart from that, it's a uh, nice condition, so it's a small refurb. On the front, you've got a couple of scratches there that need a mop and polish. Front end, just a couple of stone chips. Can't see any damage. And then one or two stone chips on the bonnet as well. But that's the exterior of the car. If we take a look at the interior. Inside, you've got the full leather. It's the black and sort of silver perforated leather. Uh, nice condition. She needs a really good valet inside. The leather's a little bit dirty. So good valet, but no damage. Back of the seats are all in nice condition as well. As you can see on the driver's seat, it's in nice condition. The bolsters look clean. Electric memory seats there as well. Front passenger seat's also in a nice condition. Centre console and dash is tidy. A little bit wearing on the steering wheel, but overall doesn't look bad at all inside. Uh, you've got one key in the ignition there, and you've got one key down here as well. So it is two keys with the car. And look at the display whilst we start the vehicle. As you can see, now we're at all starting the car. 50,013 miles on the clock, but as you can see, there's no symbols at all appearing on the dash that you have to be wary of. Um, CD and radio, no issues at all there. Heated seats in the vehicle, air conditioning does come out nice and cold, we've got that on now, uh, thank god that's working. Auto box, and taking a look at your documents now, looking at your V5, we've got two owners on the car. It's got an MOT expiry date here, 3rd of May 2017, so plenty left on the MOT for the vehicle. And taking a look at your service history, as you can see you've got a PDI there. First service then at 2703. Second series at 22,000. That's all we've got with, uh, and sorry, 46,000 down there as well. So 46 being your last service. Um, as you can see, not recently, not long ago that done either. There we go, guys. That's the 2012 Volvo XC90 R design with um, some nice spec 